Hi everyone, welcome back to Scribbles with Sam. I'm Sam, and this week I'm gonna be planning for the week of January 22nd to the 28th in my Hobonichi cousin. This week I decided that I wanted to use a journaling kit instead of a full on Hobonichi cousin kit. So I pulled the Mandylin Plans subscription box kit from November. Um, I was also looking to do something a little bit warmer cause I did kind of cooler colors before and also brighter colors before, and I just kind of miss just like something that screams warmth because it's freezing here and I would like to just bring back some warm colors in my life. So here I've got the first sheet of the November subscription journaling kit in the clear mat. Um, this first sheet has date covers, a bunch of swatches, washy little ripped pages, um, some deco, and then this one's got more ripped page corners, dots, flags. And then I also pulled a couple of the extra bits from the actual cousin kit, which includes the trackers, which I'm sure we all know I'm not really going to use. Uh, extra washi, potentially these date dots or these date covers. I'm not sure which numbers I want to use yet some icons and some labels, as well as the icon scripts, some full boxes, and more deco. Lastly, I have with me the two washies that came with the kit. All right, so I think I'm gonna start by moving all of this to the side. And I think the numbers can stay and the washi can stay for now. This is my little sticky note that has my plans for the week. So I'll stick that just right in front of me so I can reference that as we go through. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. I am currently, it's Friday the 19th and I just got home from work and I figured I would try to do this before my husband got home so I could edit it and get it scheduled to post. I think I'm gonna go with these numbers today. Um, I am entirely exhausted. Last night at around 2.30 in the morning, our fire alarm goes off and I live in an apartment complex. So sometimes fire alarms go off and I have no idea why. Uh, and it was, really really jarring the alarms that they use in my complex are extremely loud like louder than any sort of alarm that i've had to deal with before so it scared the crap out of us last night as we're sleeping and we did not we ended up choosing not to evacuate because we have a cat and truthfully you just can't really bring the cat with you when you evacuate for a 10 minute false alarm just to bring him back inside right because it's a whole ordeal to bring my cat outside you got to get the crate you got to get him to get into the crate which is a feat in of itself you gotta then go down all the stairs like i'm on the fifth floor there's it's just not it's not bad I guess but it's definitely an ordeal to evacuate with a cat and I'm not willing to leave him behind so we may and it was freezing last night right so we made the executive decision to just stay home or inside of our apartment and hope for the best um, from our window you can kind of see the fire trucks and everything so we had like an idea of what was going on like and you can see the people that have evacuated, if there were any, which honestly, I don't think many people at all went outside last night because of the weather. So, but it went off after about 10 minutes, the fire department came and turned it off. Apparently the weather change that we've had caused the pressure in the pipes of the sprinkler system to change and when that happened the it set the alarm off why is that which 
I mean, it happens. And it's went from like 10 degrees to 40 degrees in all of one day. So I'm not surprised that it happened, but now I'm really nervous that it's gonna happen again because it's supposed to get freezing cold this weekend and then kind of warmer again. And then it's supposed to rain all next week. So I'm really nervous about the alarms going off again. I'm just hoping that they do it when I'm not home. So I don't have to like wake up in the middle of the night to that again. We'll see. But how's everyone else's Friday going? I hope you're having a much better Friday than me. Nope. Did you hear that? That was the fire alarm again. Oh my gosh. I got home from work and the lights that go off with the fire alarm were still going off. So basically they never turned those off all the way. And I guess that's what I just heard. And it literally, like I swear I have PTSD over this thing. Like I, oh my gosh, an absolute nightmare at the time. Let me tell you, I was not in a very nice mood this morning. <sighs> it's okay, we're getting through it. I took a nap first before anything else today I took a nap and the nap definitely helped like I was running on zero sleep for sure but feeling a little bit better now that I got that nap in sure okay we're just gonna go like that okay and I'm gonna use this one. First, I'm gonna pick a washi. I kinda just wanna stick with this. These both. I just wanna stick with this pattern for my separate section down here because this pattern looks like a sweater and it's cold. There's it, that's all the explanation I need. Um, but yeah, so between the fire alarm and school, I mean, we only had a three day work week this week, which was fabulous. Let me tell you. So we had off on Monday because of the holiday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And then the winter storm weather on Tuesday had them canceling work for us. We did have to go back Wednesday, but I mean, once you hit that, like the week was over basically. Um, so it was such an easy work week for us this week, or at least it was for me. Okay, should I put this over the washi or should I put it up above? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of feeling they did it again. I don't understand why they couldn't have done this while everyone was at work. Why they chose like 4 p.m. on a Friday to do it. But whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna keep trucking along with what I'm doing, hopefully. Even though they're interrupting me. This is the hardest thing is getting these down straight. Oh my goodness. That's gonna have to do. And that went down really smoothly. Okay. So there's, I guess, my base layer. And I think maybe I'm gonna bring in this washi up here. I kinda don't like that it's too, don't wanna do. No, I think we're just gonna do this up here to block off this section as well. Oh, my poor cat, like he really just gets so freaked out when those alarms go off and I don't blame him. Whew, they're freaking me out, honestly. Okay. 
The next thing I want to do is set up my habit tracker. So I think I'm going to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know what color to do, so here's what I'll do. I'll just write and work every day. Because what this sticker will take up the box. So. I will just take a Sharpie to write in work right there. And I'm going to cover this one with blue and then I'm going to use yellow. And just lay these swatches over the works. I can hear my cat. He's freaking out. Oh. If you can hear that in the background, I apologize. But obviously he is in distress after what we just went through. So I have absolutely no plans this weekend which is kind of how i prefer it we did so much last weekend that i'm kind of looking forward to having some time off from doing stuff which also means not spending money i would like to not spend any money either i'm gonna do habits and i'm just gonna take this one here and lay that right there okay um, I know that you can write over these with the sharpies um, like this one just a thin sharpie but I just like to use my pen underneath it as best as I can it just I don't know I just prefer it that way so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Saturday Sunday because what I've noticed is straight lines are so much harder than I thought they would be. And I don't really understand that because there's grids. But that's okay. And then I also need to draw my straight lines to the 4 p.m. mark every day signify that's how long I'm working from there let's put in my habits so I've got Reading every day, journaling every day, daily shower, daily clean, daily litter box check, um, homework, and no spend. Okay, so that's what I will be using for my sidebar habit tracker. Um, now the next thing I want to put in my sidebar are my classes. So I like to mark the main assignments for this week. So I think I'll take these again. Let's use, I think gray and then yellow. Dang, that one should have been gray, but that only goes on. Okay, so we'll use gray next and then yellow. Alright, so this class is, let's see where this is going to take up space here. 
this like I'm good like right there I think will be good and just like that do I want to use these dots I don't know how big they are so let's see yeah we can use them mm, no those are ginormous never mind and I like to leave about one, two, three, four spaces, maybe five spaces. Do LT 8000 there. And then we'll use this yellow. I don't know what's under that sticker, but I'm going to get it. Um, I actually have this Tombow, this is N79, and I'm just going to put in bullet points, like this side, I think, on each of the, two, three, one, two, three, that way I can put down whatever I gotta do for that. Okay, lastly, we're going to take this blue swatch and we're going to do the meal plan right there. So, oops, that's going to take up, see those lines, right there. And right there. And then over here, I will just write in. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's my sidebar complete. Now let's take a look at what it is that I need to put on my calendar. Look at that, I'm already. So I know that I have class on Wednesday at 7. See how big this box is. And I'm content with putting it like that. So I will just write everything that I need to write in here first. Class 7, 15 to 9, 45. I need to do prep work and exit ticket. Exit ticket. Okay, and then over that I will just stick this box at the seven o'clock mark and just like that. I know before class I have tennis every day. Of course I do. So let's go ahead and put down dots for tennis tryouts, which I'm 99% positive they're getting canceled because it's supposed to rain all next week. So we might be able to do Monday, maybe Tuesday, but I do not think Wednesday and Thursday are happening, which is fine by me because it's just one less thing I have to worry about, honestly. Okay. All right, I also know that at 6.30, I have a meeting in person I need to attend that I'm hosting actually so that's at 6 30. I'm just gonna put this very large swatch right there and I know I have a meeting sticker this is my reusable sticker book I've got all sorts of scripts in here 
and meeting is right here. So I've got a very important meeting at work that I'm hosting for a trip that I'm taking some students on. Let's see, it's in person. Nothing else to mark on Monday. Tuesday is not this day, but this one. Tuesday is handwriting day, so I'm just gonna plop that in at the top of my page. These are the stationary holidays from the Coffee Monsters Co. So there's handwriting day. Lord knows I need to work on my handwriting. Let's see, no other holidays this month. Um, at work, I know we have advisement. Wednesday, class at 11 a.m. There is a book release that I'm interested in getting my hands on. So I'm just gonna take this flag and put it right here. Maybe I'll get the book, maybe I won't, we'll see. Thursday, I've got TV show at 9 p.m. I've been watching The Traders, and I've been very, very addicted to it. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> of course, there's not a gray TV, because I probably already used it. Lord knows where. That's okay. I'll just use the blue TV and mark the show is at nine. It's called The Traders on Peacock. I've been addicted to it since last weekend. So I wanna watch that when it comes out. <sighs> Let's see, in the morning before work, I have another meeting. Of course I do. And this time I'm just gonna mark it with an exclamation mark. I'm just gonna take the gray exclamation mark. No, let's use the coffee cup. Because if there's a meeting at work, there's coffee and likely breakfast for us. So I will take that. That's a coach's meeting. Okay. On Saturday, I have a release for a shop that I like to purchase from called Book Babe Designs. And they're releasing their next t-shirt drop on Saturday at 1 p.m. They're very cute designs. I don't want to use yellow. I don't have anything yellow though. I could use the circle. I could do the circle. It takes up like way more space, but like I said, I'm not planning on doing anything this weekend, so that could be just fine, actually. Let's see, it's at one, so I'm gonna do a little bit before one. Babe, that's not how you spell that. Designs launch, 1 p.m. I'm probably gonna get all four shirts because I love, love, love everything she does, but also because her stuff is limited, so if you don't get it, then you don't get it. Um, which I just have major FOMO, so I don't like to participate in things that I can't have. I'm sure you all know what I mean. Okay, let's see. Next, 
we have a couple of things that don't have times. So I have one, two bills, three bills. How do I wanna mark bills? I think maybe just with the dots. Yeah, like just with the dots. So let's just match our dots. I have a bill on the 23rd, which will be the bill for my Mindy Lynn Plan sub box, actually. Put that right there. For Thursday, I have my book of the month subscription coming out. And for Friday, I have my Apple iCloud storage. Nope, not my iCloud storage, my Apple Care coming out on Thursday, Friday. So let's write those in. On Monday, I'm just gonna do a dot again. Mm, let's do a flag just to differentiate a little bit between the two. I'll do it this way. Monday, my husband is off of work. And I like to note those days in my planner because he's never off on the same days consistently. So if he's off on Monday this week, he might be off on I don't know, Friday next week. So I can never tell what day he's off. <sighs> okay, let's see. Monday's good. Tuesday's good. Wednesday's good. Thursday, Friday. All right. Shall we take a look and see what I have left over? All right, so here are the two journaling sheets that I have left. I've used all of the date covers, a ton of these swatches, these dots. I used both of these corner pieces. These are all swatches, two flags, some dots, and a big circle sticker, which is actually right there underneath. I did not use any of these, but I'm probably going to keep them out in case something pops up, like the laundry day or a day that I'm cleaning. I like to fill these in as I go. So like here I did laundry, so I put in that laundry sticker. Same with the icons, I'll hold off on these. These stickers I did not use. I used some of these washi bits. They're just gonna go back with the Hobonichi Cousin Kit. And I will probably leave this deco out so I can use it for the daily pages. Here are the numbers I have left. And then these two washies I will use for the daily pages as well. All right, I think that about does it for this plan with me. Here's the finished look once again. I hope everyone had a great time watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.